Julie Chrisley left heartbreaking messages for kids before prison. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. As Julie Chrisley's resentencing hearing draws nearer, her daughter Savannah has been reflecting on the days leading up to her prison sentence. She has opened up about what the family did in the days before Julie and Todd Chrysley turned themselves into federal prison. The Chrysley Knows Best alum shared one heartbreaking detail with her podcast listeners. Continue reading to see what Julie did for each of her kids. Julie Chrysley recorded messages for her children. On the September episode of her Unlocked podcast, Savannah Chrysley spoke about what the family did before Todd and Julie went to prison. I went into the living room, and everyone was in there, and Julie came in 30 or 40 minutes later, and she had gone to Build-A-Bear and recorded prayers for each one of her children, Savannah's friend Tyler Bishop recalled. Savannah added, What originally happened was she did it for Chloe because she said Chloe's prayers with her every night and she didn't realize because that was something that she and Chloe always did. Then Grayson had tears in his eyes and was like, I want one too. She continued, and Build-A-Bear closed in like 30 minutes, and she raced to Build-A-Bear and made him two, made me one, and made Chase one, and we all still have it. The Chrysley Knows Best alum went on to say that she listens to Julie Chrisley's recording often. Her mom's voice is comforting to her. However, Chloe Chrysley is hesitant to listen to it. Someone played it the other day, and Chloe freaked out and was like, don't play it, don't play it, because she hasn't listened to it at all, Savannah said on the podcast. Her friend chimed in, watching y'all for the first time play them to yourselves and listening to it was so heartbreaking. Savannah Chrysley couldn't function after parents' sentences. The friends also reflected on what it was like when Todd and Julie Chrysley received their guilty verdict. Savannah said the family generally avoided thinking about it. Tyler agreed, noting that nobody accepted the fact that they were going away until they got there. That was something that mom and I have talked about, Savannah agreed. It was an impossible situation, but she wishes they would have actually prepared to go because everyone was in so much denial that they didn't do anything to prepare to go. Not packing the kids' stuff up, moving them, packing their stuff up. You did all that by yourself, another friend, Holly Waldrup, said. Last week, Savannah Chrysley talked about how she handled hearing the guilty verdict come through. I didn't cry the whole way home, she said. I don't even remember getting home. When she got back to the house, Savannah said that she literally walked in the door and collapsed. The Chrysley Knows Best alum said she couldn't calm down and eventually took something to calm her nerves. I couldn't even function, she said. Todd and Julie Chrysley first reported for prison on January 17, 2023. The Chrysley Patriarch reported to the federal prison Camp Pensacola in Florida. Julie reported to the Federal Medical Center Lexington in Kentucky. Due to insufficient evidence, Julie Christie's sentence was vacated in July. She will receive a new sentence on September 25. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, America Trends 24, and stay with us.